I'm Darcy Drollinger, and this is Hot Trash. Our top trash, Square Pop Sponge Pants. God damn it! Our top trash, SpongeBob Square Pants, comes out! That's right. Nickelodeon just announced that everyone's favorite sponge is a spongy little queer, just in time for Pride. Oh, SpongeBob SquarePants, we're so proud of you. Go live your best life. I wonder if he slept with Lindsey Graham. Hey. Anyway, I'm more into a sea cucumber. Speaking of Lady G, have you heard? The New York City Health Department actually just endorsed the use of glory holes as a safe sex alternative during the pandemic. Seriously, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, get thee to thy glory hole! What if kids are watching? Oh, uh, little Sally, uh, yeah, well, you gotta learn sometime. I mean, maybe Sesame Street will cover it this week. Darcy, what's a glory hole? Well, Elmo, when um, two people love each other but don't want to actually see each other or get a novel virus, they use a glory hole. Maybe the Count can help us. One glory hole. Ah, 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 ah. Little sound to cover your ears! Anyway, the health department released its safe sex guide, which basically says stay home and do yourself or your partner. But if you're determined to go have sex with a stranger, do it through a barrier like a wall. Health department, I'm way ahead of you. I never let people into my house. I do it through the mail slot. Yoo-hoo! When asked for comment, the glory hole had this to say. So I wanna know who that is. And now, talking trash. People are speaking up about racial equality all over the world, and change is coming. You've got major a-holes, like the CrossFit guy who is now stepping down. Reality show racist from Vanderpump Rules who got fired. You've got Miriam Webster changing the definition of racism. Who the hell is Miriam, and is her last name really Webster? People finally apologizing to Kaepernick. We've even got a black bachelor for the first time in 24 seasons. Has there really been 24 seasons of The Bachelor? Yeah. Anyway, have you seen them? He is so hot. I mean, I want a rose. I need a rose. Get me a rose! Ow! Ow! Oh. Even Band-Aid got the memo after 99 years. But there are some folks who are taking it a little too far, like those influencers who are showing their solidarity by doing blackface. Oh, this is awkward. I'm sorry, Tiffany, Bethany, Taylor, Hunter, Aspen, whoever you are. I mean, I know that Coachella got canceled, and I know you're upset, but honey, please put down the bronzer stick! Meanwhile, on the dark side of the force, Trump tries to revoke the rights of trans people. Yes, but the Supreme Court said, go fuck yourself. You can't discriminate against the LGBTQ people. And then Trump gave a speech at West Point where he seemed visibly unwell. I mean, he couldn't even get his second drinking hand to work. And, um, what is with the ramp? Who put all these banana peels on this ramp? I wonder if he's upset that Melania is renegotiating her prenup. I only have sex three times. Once for Baron, two if he gets elected, three if he gets re-elected. Yeah. Make it two times. And now, keeping up with the Karens. You guys, you couldn't wait like 30 seconds to crack your white claws? Sorry. Fine. I'll show you my white claws. <laughs> this week, it's coughing, Karen. <laughs> it's classic, Karen. They can't allow me not to wear a mask. I have civil liberty rights. All lives matter. My life matters. What do they want me to drop dead wearing a goddamn mask? It's fashion police, Karen. Who wears black in California sun? Who the fuck wears black? Are you an idiot? You wear black in California sun? 
Seriously? Gas station, Karen. Where are your ancestors from? You're They're going. not from this country. You're going back to Mexico. You better go back you to where you're from. You just, you just know. You just walked into. Just 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 hey, oh my see. God! Yeah, he deserved it. Sidewalk chalk, Karen. Hi, I'm asking you if this is your property. Why are you asking? Because well, it's private property. Because it's private property, so sir. So, are you defacing private property, or is this your building? You're free to express your opinion. No, you. We do. But not on people's property. Okay. Absolutely. Oh. I love the smell of canceled Karens in the morning. Karen, we spoke to your manager, and bitch, you're fired! And now, celebrity bitch slap. <clears throat> Tay Tay tackles the monuments. Do they really call her Tay Tay? Yes. <laughs> when did that start? Pop icon Taylor Swift has been very vocal about tearing down racist monuments in her home state of Tennessee. She went on a Twitter tirade, demanding that all these Confederate statues be removed immediately. And while she was tweeting it, these people were doing it. Cause you're all in Confederate, we'll take you down for sure. I didn't discover America, go discover the ocean floor. Did you know there's a petition to replace all the statues with statues of Britney Spears? I mean, can you imagine? Other people say it should be statues of Dolly Parton. I've got a better idea. How about we honor some of these people? If you're like me, you need retail therapy, but we have nowhere to wear our new clothes. So here's everything I've bought on Fashion Nova. Sponsor me! And if the red dress won't do the trick, you know we make our fashions quick. They come in large, extra large, two X, three X, and extra thick. Now buy some Fashion Nova. Now, the hashtag, trash tag. Send me a hashtag challenge and I'll do it, or at least I'll try to do it. I love a good challenge. This week, it's the hashtag glass bottle challenge, where brave TikTokers tap the top of a bottle to pop the top. Well, I love to tap and I love to pop. I could use a bottle. Let's try it. Hello? This is Darcy. Oh, hey, Kevin. Um, you want a drag name? Oh, look, I'm really good at that. What are you into? You like the TV show Fleabag and Martinis. Oh, I got it. Phoebe Baller, bitch. Okay, bye. Oh, I'll get it. Hello? Yeah, this is Darcy. Oh, hey, Benjamin. You want a drag name? Oh, my God, that is so generous. I could just eat you up. I got it. Madonna party. Okay, bye. I'll get it. Hello? Yeah, this is Darcy. Oh, hey, Flannery. How are you doing? You want a drag name? Oh, okay. Well, uh, let me think. Um, what are you into right now? Oh, you're depressed because you can't get a haircut? I got it. Brittany Shears. Okay. Okay, bye. Give me $5 and I'll make a drag name up for you. Seriously. It's only $5. That's my Venmo right there. I'll get it. Oh, it must be my other line. Hello? <laughs> it's a social media shout out. Here are the winners and losers on social media this week.
Blackberry. Le mur. Wall. Mur. Ripe. Mur. Murmur. Mur mur. A ripe blackberry murmurs to the wall. Une mur 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 au mur. When I popped off, then you go gave me just a little bit of life. Alexa, do all lives matter? Not until Black Lives Matter. All the Karens can wait to speak to the manager until then. No justice, no peace. And that's on period. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Hollywood Trash. A cornucopia of white celebrities. More like a plethora. Is it a plethora or a cornucopia? Anyway, a bunch of white celebrities are getting dragged for their we're so sincere anti-racism video. I take responsibility. I take responsibility. I take responsibility. I take responsibility. I take responsibility for how terrible that was. I gotta say, I like Triumph the Insult Dogs version a lot better. I take responsibility. You know what? I take responsibility. No, 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 I take responsibility. I was about to say the same thing. I swear to God. And now, in Trash that came out this week. Space Force, the fictional Netflix series, beat out Trump's Space Force, the fictional military branch, for the rights to trademark the term Space Force. Did I get that right? Thank you. Dave Chappelle returns to the social distant stage with his new show, Eight Minutes and 46 Seconds, a comedy with a serious side of social commentary. It's on YouTube and everybody should watch it. Also, did I mention SpongeBob SquarePants is gay? And now, a cat does a thing. Thank you so much for tuning in to Hot Trash. I'm Darcy Drollinger. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. But before we go, Here's one last trash. B. Let's lick it. Ice, ice, kitty. Ice, ice, kitty. All right, stop. No copyright infringement. Cats are back with a typical impingement. Pressing the button so sprightly. Flowing the ice down so impolitely. Will it ever stop now? I don't know. Pile on the ice. Watch it grow. To the extreme, they fuck your shit like a vandal. Puke on the rug and drop a load in your sandal.